<laughs> Alright YouTube, we are back. Uh, I'm gonna get open this freezer right here. Uh, I've left them in for a bit longer. Oh, they were right on top, someone must have moved them. Okay, there you go. I've got the hard drives right here. These have been in the packet. And uh, I was hoping to take these out a lot earlier, but they've been here for a bit longer than 72 hours now. So I totally forgot about them, but hopefully get some process, get something working gear. Here anyway, we go. Skip ahead and uh, take these upstairs and see exactly what's stuff going on. This little brush that I keep for cleaning electronics. Uh, I'm going to be uh, moving some pills and stuff I've got around here. My desk is a lot more cluttered than before uh, because during I can brush out of the way and uh, move this iPhone over there, move this and uh, move some aftershave, uh, move some stuff. There you go. Okay, so it's a lot more cluttered than before and. Uh, we're gonna open this up and see exactly what's going on. Let me get some USB cable and see if my little test works here. All right, YouTube, we are back. Um, I let my hard drive set and uh, I think it almost dried now. But a few hours, uh, my battery actually died on my phone, so I had to charge up my phone prior to testing these out. I'm gonna close down a few little windows here. I've got my uh, little show I'm watching right now. But yeah, um, anyway, but these are the hard drives. Uh, there might be some still condensation left on these things. Um, I'm going to flash into the light, see if we can pick up something here. There's still, if we can get, still droplets. That hasn't completely dried. I've left it at room temperature to dry off because I don't want to be wiping them down. And obviously they haven't, so I've left them on my desk here, which can be pretty warm with like the, uh, the, uh, the things that are on. And it's pretty hot anyway around this sort of area. So I've left these things to dry off. And um, by themselves, but that's what I would recommend. Let them dry. Off. Otherwise, if they're wet, they're just not going to work. But hopefully, I'm going to start with. Uh, I'm going to start with maybe the smaller size, and then I'll go with large, and then I'll go for the one in the middle. But anyway, I'm going to go for uh, this one over here, which is a 120 gig Western Digital portable hard drive. I'm just moving some stuff out of the way. Uh, desk is pretty cluttered, but I move some stuff around, um, so it's not as cluttered as before. So I can actually work, get some stuff done on it. Anyway, I'm going to stick in this little. Uh, this is the little jack on the bottom. It's my little port, USB port, right there. I did my Apple keyboard, but you, if you are using Windows, you can use it on Windows. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, the USB goes in like so. This is just a standard USB that came actually with one of these drives. So nothing special about this USB. Um, plug it in, hopefully we get a result here. Um, so let's just see this. Plugs into there. Trying to load now. Nah, still the clicking sound. You can see it just is loading up, and you still hear that clicking sound. And uh, let me just jump into disk utility uh, on my thing, see if it is even popping up. I doubt it is anyway. But no, nah, no, nah, it hasn't popped up either. So no, nah. no, nope, not even popped up there. And um, it's not on my dashboard. It's normally, if this was formatted in MS DOS, uh, this was in the Mac journaled, uh, and then this one over here was in, uh, in I think I believe NTFS on this one. But they're all different. So MS DOS. Mac uh, journaled and this one was in um, NTFS so I'm not sure uh, I've got Tuxeria uh, which is a piece of software which actually lets me pick up the hard drives but no hold on this is a uh, 250 gig so this will be yeah MS DOS MS DOS and Mac journal forget that's not being done there I've got a message there coming through but yeah nothing on my desktop it's just blank basically uh, get my next drive here I'm close that down Dum, bum, dum, dum. All right, next hard drive um sure this one this one no actually I'll, I'll this hasn't fully dried. This one has. I'll try this one actually. Um, a 250 gig. Which should work, hopefully. Ah, oh, drop my USB. Grab that quickly. But yeah, it's the same USB connection on this one as well. Um, and so I'm plugging this one in here. See if we can get it to work. Now, this may not be a permanent fix for your hard drive. Uh, if it does actually work for you guys, I would recommend um, to uh, get all the data off the actual drive ASAP. Now I've got an external hard drive as well, uh, quite a big hard drive, so I can just actually use, wait, use that and see if it works now. Nope, same clicking sound. Nope, same clicking sound. Not working, still not working. But okay, it's not gonna, not gonna boot anyway. That clicking sound. Now, if you do hear that clicking sound, what I would recommend, if the data is important, because a lot of times you get basically um, with the hard drives. I mean, you might lose movies or music and uh, other sort of stuff like that, which you can download or acquire again. But if you do want to actually get the data off this, I would 
you know, if it's like family photos or like video photos and stuff like that, which is actually personal, I would recommend spend sending one of these off for data specialists. I know that currently there's a few data specialists that I know of and they charge $49.99. Uh, that's basically up to 250 gig worth of data recovered now obviously prices do vary depends on where you go to if you want to try doing this yourself what you basically involve is you can actually get another hard drive which is sorry another external hard drive which is exactly the same as this and if you maybe you have to be very careful because obviously because the platter on these are very small it's a 2.5 inch hard drive which is the same as a laptop one uh, not not a 3.5 which is a pc one I would, if it was a pc one i'll probably work on it myself because there's a lot more room and the parts aren't so small because the parts are smaller on here they're a bit more fragile so i would recommend taking it elsewhere but all basically you have to do is take out the platter put it into an exact same hard drive a lot of times it can be the heads of these drives anyway i'm going to test out the final one here hopefully we get some success i'm not hoping for much um but i left these things for a bit of time i'm gonna plug it in now slow this up see if any sort of anything happens here and hopefully we get a result here let me just open up my thing see if it's loading up here so it's, it's booting certainly it's loading and it okay i haven't has it has it come up it has right there my passport mac let's focus into that and the good thing now is i've got this thing to boot which i'm happy with um took a while to actually boot and uh I had to actually mount the disc. Um, sometimes you have to actually go into the, your disk utility or even your. If it comes up in, if you're using Windows, if it does come up with Windows, what I would recommend, it might show the drive uh, as located, and you can't access it. Uh, you can right click to explore the drive because sometimes a lot of times the actual boot uh, is actually corrupted and it's got problems with it. So click the explore button and you can actually drop down and then click on each individual sort of section that you've got. But that's magic. I'm actually gonna what I'm gonna do right now. It's gonna start moving. So I've got more files in here. Just double click. Yep, bingo. Got loads of backup files in there. I'm actually happy that they're all there because a few bits I actually want to take out them. But I've got my external, my big ass uh, Thunderbolt there. I'm going to be moving stuff onto that because I know that that thing is going to be like, it's not going to have any problems with it because that's a lot more sturdy. But hopefully this video has been uh, helpful to you guys out there. And if you had the same problem, try this thing out. It's got a 33% success rate from what I've seen here. Um, I'm not going to unplug, I'm not going to touch that right now because the USB, if I move the USB and I plug it in again, it may not boot up, but it's loading, it's, I can see it's working fine there, and uh, that is, it loads up a lot quicker because it's in Mac OS Journal, uh, these were in MS-DOS, so I'm not sure if that causes a problem, uh, OS Journal is a lot more um, sturdy, I think, as well, uh, in terms of the actual file system, the way it's done, but um, if you have any questions or queries, drop some information, drop some comments below, and I'll be uh, more than happy to uh, help you guys out if you have any problems like this, and uh, this has been your boy Ace, also as version 1B1,